Very good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, I am Muhammad Ridwan Karim. I am from Innovative International College. Sir, I want to take a short interview uh, about your successful in your life. Uh, can you help me, sir? Sure. Okay, sir. At first, I want to know your uh, childhood. Okay, uh, first and foremost, thank you for having uh, decided to take me for this interview. But I must say, whether I am successful or not, I am not sure. But I hope to be one day, you know, but uh, since you have uh, taken this opportunity to uh, ask me about the area of how to be successful, I will try to share whatever I can with you. Um, first and foremost, um, I was born and bred in Kuala Lumpur, okay, and um, my schooling in my primary school and secondary school was all was in Scholar La Salle Centre, Kuala Lumpur, and upon completing my SPM, which is the lower secondary school in Malaysia. I went off to Canada to do my degree and I completed my first degree in biochemistry in uh, 1991. And then upon coming back to Malaysia, I was working for a while in a company as a chemical assistant. Then I went on to study law and I got my second degree in law from the University of London. Uh, then I went on to continue my further studies in Masters in Business Administration and recently I've completed my PhD in the area of Aviation and uh, Air Terrorism. Uh, so that's basically my childhood characteristics until today. So uh, your education background is very strong. Mm -hmm. So uh, can you tell me your first uh, job place? Okay, I started working as a lecturer in a college called Midas in Penang mm -hmm. and from there I moved on to another college called College Uttara where I was uh, taken in as the head of department. Mm -hmm. I was there for two years and that same college promoted me to become the principal in Ipoh mm -hmm. and uh, from there in the year 2001 I resigned lecturing in this particular college and I went to Sabah, Kota Kinabalu, mm -hmm. where I helped the Sabah state government to set up a college called um, College Technology Sabah. Mm -hmm. And I was there for three years and I came back to Kuala Lumpur in 2005 and started working in a company as a manager mm -hmm. which was involved in soft skills training. Now, at the end of 2005, I decided to not work for anyone and wanted to do my own thing. And that is when I started my own consultancy firm, which was involved with soft skills training. And in 2008-2009 is when I actually further expanded and I went into a franchising business whereby I was doing play gym for children. Uh -huh. now, this business is a franchise business from UK and I took up the franchise for Australia, New Zealand, UAE and India. And uh -huh. that business is still running. Okay, so that's basically what I do. Okay, so uh, I know you have a uh, good profession for teaching, also now also you have a uh, good uh, planning for own business. Mm -hmm. So what do you think if uh, anybody want to uh, success, become a successful person, mm -hmm. what need to do? Well, to be successful, the most important ingredient is of course self-confidence. Huh? You need to have self-confidence. You need to be very honest with yourself you need to work smart not work hard uh -huh. work smart and of course uh, you need to have understanding of people i think you need to be a people person in order to be successful because it's never ever work with the assumption it's i always work with the word we then anyone can be successful because i on its own doesn't have any meaning but it's we uh -huh. that gives a person to be successful so always have the equation we in whatever you do and don't have the word I. That's, that's just the key to success, I believe. Okay. So uh, do you think uh, if anybody want to success his life, do uh, have they need to uh, good skill or how what type of skill actually need uh, uh, in the present situation, present world? As I said, I think as I said, whatever needs to be done, it needs to be done with the word we. Okay. So. 
when we talk about we to be successful you need to have one very important skill which is communication skill communication. Okay? So if you have proper communication skill and you have understanding of people and you actually are willing to work with people then definitely success will be there and always remember don't have this egoistic thing that I'm the best I'm the best mm -hmm. that is not going to help you so you must always remember that ego is the thing that brings the person's downfall so if you're level-headed and you do not have ego and you're able to blend and understand people rest assured it might take time but guaranteed success will be there okay thank you so i want to like uh, to ask some question about your family okay. uh, so you already i know your background is good your educated background so uh, when you get married I got married in 1998. Uh, my wife is an engineer by profession, uh -huh. uh, but she doesn't work. She uh -huh. stays at home, uh, takes care of my kids. Uh, she has completed her master's in uh, informatics, okay, which is uh, an area which is a bit different, okay, which is currently needed in the country. Uh, intends to do her PhD soon as well, okay. But apart from that. Uh, I've got three children. My eldest son is in boarding school in Kuala Selangor. He's in secondary four. My second child is in secondary two. And my third child is in primary six. Mm -hmm. okay, that's the family background, basically. So, so what you suggest uh, for young generation, mm -hmm. uh, what is uh, motivate young generation to become a success? Work, honestly, do things in the correct way do not cheat do not lie to anyone you will be successful okay th thank you sir for your uh, cooperation no problem and thank you